Hey there, everyone. That Sexy Nerd is back again. And watching uh, Nostalgia Critic Baby's Day Out now. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I'm a little late with this, but I had a, mis a misnomer with uh, uploading and such. So, yeah, Baby's Day Out. Never seen it. <laughs> I know, that probably pissed some of y'all off, but, you know, I've never seen it. Um, I barely even saw Home Alone, you know, like when it came out. I, it took until I was like in my teens when I finally seen the the entire uh, movie all the way through, and uh, yeah, that was that was weird. Um, I had always just seen uh, some of the parts where Kevin had set up the the traps and everything, and that was pretty much it. But yeah, uh, yeah, Baby's Day Out. I never heard good things about it, and I never even heard about it until Nostalgia Critic actually brought it out. I never even knew it existed, and I had no idea it was the same damn director as Home Alone. So, yeah, I, I, I'm going into this fresh. Um, but there is someone I know who is trying to show me clips of it, uh, and you know who you are. So, <laughs> um, and I, I never really got onto it. The only thing that I actually kind of like is that the heroes. I mean, I'm sorry, the boys, Diabolical, tried to, uh, did a, you know, kind of a, their own version of Baby's Day Out. I just didn't realize it was that until, you know, somebody pointed it out to me. I'm like, really? <laughs> and then they showed me that, and the clips from that, and I'm like, oh, wow, that's crazy. It's it's mostly the gorilla and uh, the baby on the, um, on the building. So I, I, I didn't really actually see the movie. Oh, yeah, and also that part where the baby lights the guy's crotch on fire or something. <laughs> oh, I'm like, how, how, how did that even happen? But let's not spoil the, mo uh, the, the review. So please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content and subscribe if you think I deserve it. And let's do this thing, y'all. Critic! Oh, no, no. Critic! I figured it out! What? You figured out what? The greatest conspiracy of all time! Jesus, what is it, man? We remember Baron Steen Bears instead of Baron Stain Bears because they're from another dimension! What? Oh, no, that's not it. It's because Baron Steen is a more common name if you say it really fast, they kinda of sound alike. Oh, okay. Also the curse of A looks very similar to a curse of E, so it's an easy mix-up. Oh. Well, I have this parallel dimension theory about Oscar Mayer. Same thing. The A looks like an E. It's just upside down. Uh, uh. Well, how about... George's tail. Most monkeys have tails. That's not such a big reach. But then there's... Fruit Loops. That's literally how fruit is spelled. Why wouldn't you think that? Well, you can't explain... Monopoly guy's monocle. He's a human version of Mr. Pina. Another easy mistake. Hmm. Oh. What? See, everybody think thinks there's a big crazy reason why all these Mandela effects happen. Wait! That one! Everyone thinks Nelson Mandela died. He did. He did. Oh, yeah. Oh, Most the of the time, it's just easy to explain reasons that honestly make a lot of sense. There's no parallel dimension or secret government cover-ups. Most of the time, it's just people are dumb. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. Enough. You want to know the weirdest theory I had? Not really. Everybody swears you reviewed Baby's Day Out, and I thought there was a timeline where maybe you did. No, no that one's true. What? Oh, it's not looking good! The Baby Day Out and have brainwashed all their reality! Everyone is convinced that you never reviewed Baby's Day Out, monster! Wait, this is totally real? Of course no, because they want to destroy all the bad reviews of the movie! Just look at that flat apocalyptic <laughs> world with Great King! This is happening, man! I'm sorry, I could totally believe that they uh, started a war because Baby's Day Out sucked. They'll start a war for it. They'll try to start a war for anything nowadays. Well, I want to help! Nope. What? Nah, just kidding! Come on, you knucklehead! Baby stay <laughs> This is the perfect tone for this kind of movie. Of course, yes. Whatever this film is brought up to me, it's in one of two ways. One is asking, hey, when are you gonna review Baby's Day Out? And the other being, man, I really loved your review of Baby's Day Out. I'll be honest, even I thought I reviewed this movie at one point. No! I think this happened because it's like a mix between Mr. Magoo and some of the lesser John Hughes movies like Flubber or Home Alone 3. I think that was it. He, it's either one of those. I think it was Home Alone 3, his review of Home Alone 3, where he mentioned that, uh, mentioned Baby's Day Out. He was like, he, he wrote it and it sucked. Uh, you know, I, I just remember that. Which all of those I've reviewed. 
part of me was actually pretty content having people think I reviewed this even though I didn't. But then I saw several clips of this movie have over a million views. That's so weird. Really? The 1994 movie that doesn't even have a Blu-ray release? <laughs> the box office bomb that got Siskel and Ebert into one of their biggest fights? I'm really surprised at you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Go back and find out who attended that sneak preview. I saw all those children are in dear jeopardy of becoming we attended. Roger Ebert. God, they could argue about anything. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure most of these yeah, hits are from that. viewers that are about the same age as the protagonist. But mm. still, between the people who grew up with it, people who still watch it, and people who want me to review it so much they think I already did, should, I probably should check Cynthia it out. Nixon. So I'm finally going to take a look for the first time. Again, maybe. Oh, Fruit of the Loom has that weird horn thing in this world! There is so much uselessness you are ready to explore. Yeah. And that's definitely gonna go for you too, as we take a look at Baby's Day Out. Woo! It opens with the film, I guess making it clear this is supposed to be like one of those little golden books, but I don't know, I didn't see many crotches being set on fire in those. <laughs> Not that I can't use a few. <laughs> We're introduced to Baby Bink. Yes, that is the main character's name. In a nursery that looks more like where Mother May I keeps her prisoners as opposed to a kid's room. Was that even the character's name on Teen Titans? The hell? Where they boarded a big blue bus. They were on their way to the big city. You ain't fooling me, lady. The opening credits weren't here a second ago. Baby's having his picture taken this morning. His parents are Lorraine and Ben, played by Lara Flynn Boyle and Matthew Glaive. Say hello to old Willie for me. Old Willie isn't doing it. What the hell are you implying? Oh, the photographers, yeah. Cut to three uh -huh. criminals, played by Joe Mantegna, Joe Pantoliano, and Brian Haley. Mind if we call you Joe to avoid confusion? They pose okay. as children's photographers in order to kidnap the baby and hold him ransom. Three but does that sound much worse than what he has to put up with from his own family? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh. Bye-bye. Ooh, bye-bye. This is what happens when the Coco Melon channel gets drunk. And he is played by Cynthia Nixon. Yeah, I like I watched enough Cynthia. Sex in the City to make a joke about that. Who prepares Bink to be photographed. I am Mr. Charlie, photographer, the babe. I'd say how can you not tell it's obviously a fake artist by 1994? It's how Tim Burton looked. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Whoa. <laughs> a little young to read Ralph Stedman's Animal Farm, isn't he? <laughs> Ten minutes in for post Home Alone John Hughes. Surprised there hasn't been a crotch shot yet. Oh, well, I take there you back. Go. I'm surprised there's not a character just named Crotch Shot in this. May I ask one small favor? May I have some time alone with the child? Out, Why? get out of my house. If there's any other response from the mother, the baby deserves to be taken away from her. I need to study his marvelous little features. He does well with the persons he is not intimate with oh my god i'd say check a watch list but would talk like that just check a telephone pole i think he's the silhouetted guy in all those drawings Ooh. i'll be back in 15 minutes he doesn't have a hat back in 15 hat. years lady they of course leave and the crooks take the baby again after the way he was wow. talking i think it's the least horrible scenario and the mother discovers she's been duped where's bank oh i wonder their intelligence i doubt it even know how take your child who is this pole ice <laughs> they say they want five million dollars for his return, which makes sense. I should buy them some lessons on the bare minimum of looking after a baby. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Uh, I, I, I mean, even I'm kind of insulted for rich people. Even rich people are not that stupid. How do you tell the front from the back on these diapers? Are there pockets in the front? Wouldn't this be like abducting a dog and not knowing how dog food works? Wait, what? Oh, are you? Trust me, there are plenty of guys who never know. I mean, my one of my friends at the time he he came over to my house and I was changing my uh, my nephew's diaper. He's like, "How do you know which ones goes in the front and the back?" I'm like, "Oh my god, weird life I live." I'm in them regular baby clothes. That fruit suit's a giveaway that he's a rich kid. Oh, I'm starting to see why this was taken off at Disney Plus. He said fruit suit. Keep an eye on him. That little doo-doo machine is my retirement money. Jesus. How classic Chicago gangsters talk. I remember when Al Capone used to say, FARTS! <laughs> the mother says she's gonna go looking for her baby while the cops stop her in dialogue that's eerily similar like all of Hughes' work after Home Alone. What? Where is my water? Oh, yes. 
There are five million people in this city and thousands of places where your boy could be. Your son is lost in one of the biggest cities in the world. Have you ever lost a child? No, ma'am. Then you can't possibly know how I feel. I apologize. Do you have kids? Yes, ma'am. And what would you do if one of them was missing? I'd probably be doing the same thing you are doing. Thank you. It's also ridiculous to feel Omar any too. sympathy for this woman when she was tricked so easily. And you can't possibly know how I feel. I heard you were duped by Three Stooges costumes and abandoned your child the same way someone would abandon a cookie to Cookie Monster. So I imagine you're feeling dumb. dumb. <laughs> the baby sees birds outside and climbs out on a ledge following them. Dumb as that guy. Even on the shitty quality DVD, I can tell that's not the actor. It looks more like Patrick Warburton trying to be a Dick Tracy villain. Ed! Uh, 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 hey, Ed, what happened? This movie so quickly gets tired of its own slapstick that oh, Mantegna gets another crotch shot and he already seems numb to it. Uh, 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 is there an earth tremor in this alleyway or was someone just really lazy about combining these oh. two shots? Though that would mean someone would have to half-ass something in this movie and I just can't believe that. Yeah. The baby gets out on the street and hops on the bus because it reminds him of the bus in the storybook. Yeah, if I was a criminal, I'd drive something as inconspicuous as that. What the hell even is that thing? Seriously. It looks like if the Indians from Peter Pan designed Homer's car of the future. Even the turtle van would be like, dude, you need like a fedora hat or something. <laughs> That's really funny. I swear, I'm like in sync with Nostalgia Critic right now because I just last, literally last um review that I did of him, I I compared the, uh, the Native Americans from... Uh, or the natives, whatever. The natives from from Peter Pan <laughs> in there. You gotta go watch that video to see you see how it went. Driver, next stop, please. The baby gets into a lady's bag as the crooks stop the bus. The baby get off this bus! Eh, no baby, but it looks like Carol's blowing a bubble. <laughs> they see the wow. baby in the bag and rather like than oh, I don't know, just say their babies in the bag, they follow her and get beat up. <laughs> Chicken! Can I just pretend the same guy didn't write these? I have to understand humanity with this information. <laughs> the baby makes his way into Macy Fields when a lady stops him and thinks she's returning him to the child care center. Overly there you here. go, my little escape artist. What are you in for? Look who's talking, you. Baby geniuses. Oh, get away from me. <laughs> he leaves the child care, which honestly, he was there for so little, I don't even know why it was written in. And oh boy, Mr. Duncan never recovered from not giving that money to the children's hospital, did he? Come on, hookers and blow don't pay for themselves. Hey! The baby makes his way in a cab when the parents get a tip off of where their son might be. What? Oh yeah, that's the brown hair on my blonde kid's head. Oh, fake out, darn! You have a beautiful little boy. Eh, he's close enough, I'll take him. But she's a girl! I'll take him. I believe in my heart that someone somewhere watches over the babies. Why does the baby look You see, weird? I read the Bible and nothing bad ever happens to babies in there. Mm-hmm. Just nothing. I've been possessed by delicious food. That delicious food being factor. Oh, now that it's summer, you might be- I mean, why? Why, Critic? Why do you have to give me nightmare fuel like that? The baby makes his way to that famous Chicago Zoo simply called Zoo, and the crooks aren't what? far behind. Don't worry, that's a stump, baby. He wouldn't endanger the life of that driver. Mm. Man, that guy was listening to his sound effects loud. Thank God he was nowhere near our feet. I worked at Burger King three <laughs> years. This is worse than that. Agreed, I'd rather work at Burger King for three years than watch this hour and a half long movie. <laughs> they named the website Chris Hansen uses to catch predators. Baby tracks. And they follow them to the guy in a gorilla suit exhibit. Oh, and well, there you go. You make sense of this scene. <laughs> oh, I get it. We're all insane. <laughs> funny enough, this is one of the few scenes I actually think is done yeah, well. This is kind because of funny. it's legit okay. a little suspenseful and therefore kind of humorous. <laughs> it really soaks in them wondering if this gorilla is going to be friendly or goddamn kill them. It's one of the few times the slow pacing actually works to the film's advantage. And yeah, it is pretty funny how the gorilla's reaction just flips on a dime. <laughs> 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 
Han Solo. I don't know. It's like, okay, is this my test in the Matrix? Like, Neo gets the lady in the red dress and I get the gorilla? Because it ain't fab, it is! <laughs> <laughs> Strange choice. They show a close-up of a sign that reads, Don't cross the guardrails. So, anybody that kidnapped a baby and lost him at a zoo take notes? But Mantenia tries to sneak him out while they sleep. It doesn't work. Hmm, should I do a third crotch shot? Eh, I'm too depressed this movie made me ask that. <laughs> the baby oh. gets out, and I will give the film a little credit. Even though this is clearly a guy in the suit, it does look a lot more convincing than the poster. Wow. Like, this is at least passable in a movie. This is the lead for Rock of Fire Explosion. Could no! It's the one, it's the, the gorilla suit from Spongebob. Oh, uh, well, it, it's funny you should, I mean, the, see, the, the, George, they're on to us! <laughs> Let's get out of here. Did you honestly not even get a clip from the movie? Like, what? I'll just put the title randomly somewhere. Boom! Poster! I did that like a second, what's wrong with you? Oh, wait, I forgot, this is half Lifetime Movie of the Week, too. All I wanted was my baby's picture in the paper. Baby's Day Out rated worst 94 film since Exit to Eden. They once again find the baby, but the cops find their car, so oh, they try yeah, not to be yeah, conspicuous. Oh, on fire here. Beautiful day, huh? You know anything about John and Elliot's breakup? I've been ah, having funny. battery trouble. I think this character's goal is to stand out as the most uncomfortable creep in all of Chicago and see how long nobody notices. <laughs> to be fair, it does take us a bit of time. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's cute. You think his crotch can feel anything at this point. It's been so busted up, it looks like a radioactively mangled pork sausage. Got a bad heart. This bit goes on know. way too long and overstays its yeah. welcome, but I do like the way he says this one line. I'll be right with you. I just had a crab in my leg. <laughs> it sounds like Miss Pinky getting eaten out in both meanings of that phrase. <laughs> Why do I feel like if there wasn't a zany music, this would be a Chucky movie? <laughs> so I think I've said that too. Oh. This is basically that Joe Pesci scene where he got shot in the balls, combined with the passion of the Christ. <laughs> yeah, I cut to the drama of a mother fearing for her missing child. That follows beautifully after Great Balls of Fire here. Uh, yeah, I'm actually shocked they didn't play that song. Where's my little taking the jacket, idiot. What's he doing? Is he setting somebody's crotch on fire? Is it cringy as hell? <laughs> the only other thing a movie like this promises outside of crotch shots is construction work. Sleepy, what you doing up there? <laughs> wow, so even weird. for Baby's Day Out effects, those are real Baby's Day Out effects. Wow. <laughs> Of course, hijinks uh, happen with the crooks falling over each other and the baby blissfully unaware of the danger he's in. <laughs> That's four! Four times the crotch shot wasn't funny! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> the brain damage they suffered. Do you think they even remember why they wanted the baby? Do they even know their names at this point? <laughs> You can't do that on television has been an out of fashion production. <laughs> the baby crawls Funny. away, we're given way too good a shot for a film like this, and the criminals seem bested once more. Hey, we're down here! Don't worry, we're equally gooped! And equally undeserving of laughter. Ugh. The police report on all the sightings, and the nanny puts together that he's following his favorite children's book, so she knows where he's gonna go next. Because obviously the baby's geography of the city is spot on. This might be stupid. It's the kid <laughs> on television, the one that... Is that James Earl Jones? Come on. I kind of hate how instantly endearing this actor is. Mm. He has like a minute of screen time, and already I think he's secretly Santa Claus. <laughs> they sing the most pitch-perfect rendition of This is the Army, Mr. Jones. This is the Army, Mr. Jones. The choir for Hunt for Red October isn't as angelic as these 12 old men. <laughs> and mom and dad are finally reunited with Bink. 
Christ, I still can't believe they called him that. But wait a minute, I think Binky's trying to tell us something. Boo -boo. Boo -boo. That's not a boo-boo, that's a TikTok. He means his boo-boo's back there. That's where he's been. This whole movie's a boo-boo. <laughs> boo-boo in the boo box wouldn't be as big a boo-boo as this boo-boo. <laughs> tell him to turn around, we're going back to the TikTok to get the boo-boo. Uh... Frank, can you just pretend we're filming a real movie? Can you just pretend we're not both dead inside? <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> they go to the TikTok where our villains are healing, but there's no rest for the wicked. You're surrounded! Throw down the boo-boo! And just a reminder, John Hughes used a different name for these films because he thought they were lesser work. This, he was proud of. Wow. The baby's having his picture taken tomorrow. Say hello to old Willie for me. I found this great place called Wet Bandits <laughs> Photography. <laughs> The guy who brought us the Breakfast Club. Oh, God. How do you think it was? <laughs> it's not good. It it's only has not. one joke of baby laughs while criminals get hurt, and most of the slapstick isn't fast enough, creative enough, or even painful enough. I know this is meant for teeny tiny kids, but even as those movies go, it's pretty lackluster and unimaginative. Granted, there are much worse. There aren't many moments that were painful or made me angry. The acting isn't good, I guess, but I can't say it's bad, either. Everyone just gets the standard performances you've seen a million times from these type of characters, but admittedly, I have seen it done in a more annoying way in other flicks. It's just lame. It's a lame movie. I can't find a ton to truly despise about it, but I can't find a ton to enjoy about it, either. Mm. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the real review of Baby's Day Out and Whoa, what happened? You reviewed the movie! Yeah, so that reality disappeared! Oh, it's not you sound disappointed. Reality, we are! Right? Jif Peanut Butter had a Y at the end! Looney Tunes had four O's! And Pikachu had that little black thing on the end of his tail! Feels so wrong Ooh. living in a world without him having that little black thing at the end of his tail. It's on the tip of his ears! It should be on the tip of his tail! Look, How would this you stuff know? is fun to talk about, but we shouldn't obsess over it. We should feel complete knowing we don't know everything. Never! We need to know everything about everything! Mandela effect. But they'll warp your mind if you fixate too much on them. They're everywhere. Yeah, like where? Like how the gun you tossed Malcolm earlier changed in between shots. Wait, when? Oh, Before you went to the portal. <coughs> don't believe me? I don't know. Go back and check. I feel like if we do, you win somehow. Okay, then don't go check it out. He could just be saying that so we will go and check. Okay, then show some self-control and don't go back and check. Okay, we won't. But you will. Nonsense. It's just a gun in between shots. It has no impact on us. But you will. <laughs> you will. Yeah, you will. Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. Oh, what can I say? Um... Baby's Day Out. I, 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 I didn't like it much either. I mean, yeah, it's all the, I guess the reason why they have like a couple million views is like if you don't watch the entire movie, it's fun. I guess it's like X-Men The Last Stand. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content and subscribe if you think I deserve it. And I'll, and I'll see you on the next episode.